Okay, girls, um, thank you for um, jumping on the call tonight and for taking time out of your day to be here. Um, my name is Corey Mayo. I am your founder and CEO of Team Living Healthy and Fit. Today is Wednesday, November 18th, 2015. Um, I am really excited to share tonight's call with you. It's going to be a bit different than the format that we usually do, so I'm excited to share this with you and and see how you girls like it this way. Um, before we get started, I do want to screen share and show something that I actually updated today in our team group really quick. So um, I'm going to start doing this every time that I um, update this cover photo for us. If you click on that cover photo, you will see over here on the right hand side in the description, that I added like all the important information that you will need. So like if you're stumbling to find the, the coach relations phone number or customer service, the national wake up call, the link um, so that you can get on our team calls. Um, I even added a lot of our important files. Like instead of trying to go through all the file section on um, team living healthy and fit, which can get mundane and it's kind of, um, a pain to scroll through all of them all the time if you don't have them saved. You can actually click on this Google Drive here and um, you can have some of the more important files that we have, like the 21 day posting scripts, um, the um, like time management type stuff, um, the five day coaching sync peak, just some of the files and I'll keep adding to that, but that way they're all in one central location and they're a little bit easier to find. And then you can download them onto your Google docs as well and have them on your own Gmail. Um, and then this would be my acuity scheduler so that if you know, so you have that link to schedule a call as well. So every time that I update this, I'm going to keep this information as the description. That way you know exactly where it is. And it's super easy for you guys to find. Okay. Um, so we'll go ahead and get over here to our slideshow. And there we go. You see that okay? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay, so tonight we're going to talk about creating your legacy and what your legacy means, how you want to make your mark on the world and what that looks like for you. First, I would like to congratulate. We have, I think I counted eight people. Um, yes, eight people who are on the Success Club board so far this month. And it is the 18th of the month, but we still have plenty of time in the month. Um, to get more people on board. I would love to see 10 of our coaches with Success Club points this month. Um, so that's definitely a goal that we're shooting for. Um, you have myself at Success Club 9, Paul at Success Club 2 with signing two new coaches, Donna at Success Club 4, Lori at Success Club 2, Tatiana, who has been a coach for just a month at Success Club 2, Tara Sabecki, who is also a brand new coach at Success Club 2, Carly Lazdowski at Success Club 2, and Amanda Reed with her first Shakeology on HD at Success Club 1. So great job, you guys. That's really awesome. I'm excited to see eight coaches on the board there, but I know that we can do better and we can help more people with all of us getting on the board there. So great job. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so tonight we're going to be talking about creating your legacy and how you will be remembered. So I have a picture here of Chief Louis Weedy. And when you look at that picture, I want you to kind of think about like, what do you think that he represents? And do you think he's a man of honor? Do you think that he was somebody that helped people? Um, what does that picture kind of mean to you? Or what does that look like? I can tell you that he was very much a man of honor. He was a man who was very quiet, man of few words, um, did not say much, but when he did speak, the room got quiet because if he did speak up, it was going to be something great or something that people really needed to know. He was a man of friendship who very much cared about his friends, about his um, fellow firefighters. He helped to actually create the Perrysburg um, Township Fire Department. 
Um, he was the senior chief before he became um, the, the head chief, um, was then appointed head chief and was the chief for almost 30 years of the Perrysburg Township um, Fire Department. Some of the people um, said Mr. Weedy's presence in the community would be sorely missed. So one of the activities that we've done, if you've been doing the Dr. Coit Cooper um, training is having that moment when you're thinking about when you're gone, that funeral moment, when what, what's your legacy going to be? How are people going to remember you? It's not just about Beachbody, but who are you as a person? What do you want people to remember you? You know, how do you want them to remember you? Um, you can tell that, you know, obviously because he was a chief, they had a, a very extensive funeral service for him when he did pass, but his, um, funeral, funeral home was completely packed of people who said just what this quote says, that Mr. Weedy's presence would be um, sorely missed in the community because of what he stood for in the community, because he represent, represented um, bringing the community together and trying to help people and doing his best to keep the community safe and um, keeping that good friendship and camaraderie, you know, amongst the community. So this person also happens to be my grandfather. He was very much a family man. Um, he raised four girls and then my grandmother passed away um, actually before I was born and remarried to my grandma Mary. Um, they were married for over 25 years. He took her children in as well. Um, and he also helped to raise some of the grandchildren. So he was very much a man of family um, like I said, he was very soft-spoken or a man of few words, but when he did talk, you knew grandpa's talk and you better listen and shut up. <laughs> um, so he had a very, um, a very powerful presence about him, even though he didn't speak much and he wasn't an outspoken person, he had a presence about him because he knew in his core who he was. You know, he was a, he was a Mason bricklayer. He worked very, very hard. Um, he had good cores and good cores, uh, good core values, and um, just really wanted to make an impact and leave his mark and to be known as somebody that left his mark on the world or to be known as somebody that did the best that they could to help people. So tonight what I would like for you to take away from this call is the actions that you can take right now to work towards creating your legacy. So creating that, that person that you want to become, it's, you know, while we're in this business to help people, like, how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered as that person that just, you know, sells to people or do you want to be remembered as that person that helps people to feel better about themselves and to change their lives? a person that took action and was always there to support people and inspire them. What does that look like for you? So with a, a pen and a piece of paper, I would like for you to take a couple minutes and write down five distractions that you have in your life right now. Okay, girls got those down. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So then what I would like for you to do is two to three more, two to three ways that you can do just a little bit more. Okay, so I'd like for you to keep those as we kind of go through this and think about um, what those are going to look like to help you. Okay, so when we're talking about creating our legacy or um, building our foundation to who we are as a person, we have to rethink that, um, reframe the word pain. Um, if what we were doing, and I'm not just talking about Beachbody and the business, I'm talking about being that amazing person that you want to be, being remembered as this incredible person who impacted the community and was selfless and did things for other people. To do that, it's not going to be easy. You know, there's going to be times that it's hard or there's going to be times that you want to give up or there's going to be struggles. And like Dr. Coit Cooper was talking about, you're going to hit walls because if it were easy, to be an amazing person that everybody remembers, everybody would be that way, but that's just not the reality. So the pain is what sets us apart. Just, you know, getting over those struggles, pushing through those hurdles when you feel like giving up or like you don't wanna reach out to anybody that day or you're afraid to invite somebody because you just don't know if they're gonna say no or you're afraid that they're gonna say no or you're afraid that they're gonna judge you for some reason, like pushing through that negativity and pushing through that doubt. We have to try and reprogram our minds to think that pain is progress. Like think about when you're building your muscles, right? So if you want to gain muscle or if you want to reshape your muscle, you're actually tearing those muscle fibers as you're working out. And as they heal, they're going to build. So you're getting that, you're having pain because you're working and you feel that burning in your muscle, but you're going to gain from that if you keep consistent and you keep pushing forward. So pain is required for growth, like we just talked about. You know, you're not going to build muscle if you don't have that pain, if you don't push those muscles to the limit to gain muscle power. You have to be willing to do what others are not. So you know, when, when we're talking about fitness as an analogy, you know, when you're doing um, those reps, you know, you could just stay mediocre and follow the program, right? Like you could just, okay, I'm going to do my five pound weights and, and never increase your weight or never increase your reps, never squat lower, never push yourself. You could just go through the motions, right? Which is just going through the motions of life. That's just being a human and, and just going through. But the people who um, do those extra reps who start to up their weights to start really building that muscle mass and who start to squat lower and to push themselves through that workout are the people who get amazing results, right? Like those are the people you look at their befores and afters and you're like, holy crap, because they put the work in. So it's hitting those red zone results. It's doing just a little bit more. It's going above and beyond that flat line. You know, it's, it's, here's the status quo. And then to become this great person that everybody remembers or can identify with because you're doing great things to help people, you're doing just a little bit more. You know, when you're working out, you bump up three pounds in your weight or you do three more reps. It's just a little bit, but it's enough to put you over the status quo that you're not just doing the flat line middle. So today, what we're going to talk about is doing um, three action steps that you can do to start setting yourself apart and creating your legacy. So profitability, identifying the areas in your life that are most important to you. Make a list, like what is important to you that you need to make sure that you're setting time aside for? Is it your workouts, your nutrition, your family? What is that for you? Make sure that you're identifying those so that you're making sure that those are in your calendar. You guys, if it's not in your calendar and if you're not scheduling time for it, there's times that things are gonna be missed, right? Because life gets busy and things happen. 
But if you're concentrating on those, you know, three to five things that are most important to you in your life and you're making sure that you're scheduling that family time and you're making sure that you're getting your workouts in and that you're taking care of your nutrition so that you stay healthy, all of those things are going to help you to progress and move forward. And then identify who has the greatest needs. Who needs your help the most? Who of your friends, your family, your contact list, who of those people need your help the most right now? And then the second step of the three steps is building your bank. So identifying your dozen, so 12 people now, that you can really pour fuel on, that you can really, well, I'm not talking about inviting them into a challenge group right now. I'm talking about just building that relationship, connecting with that person, doing some one-on-one -on -one time and really putting some fuel on that relationship to help that blossom and to love on those people, to grow their trust. And then number three, when before the game begins. So the call that I was on um, last week with Darren Hardy, he was talking about um, how when he was in real estate that um, he had sold a bunch of houses in January, first quarter, which is like the worst time of the year for people to be selling houses. But all of his... Um, fellow coworkers and partners were like, well, how did you do that? Like, how did you get all these people to sign, you know, in January when it's cold and people, nobody wants to move and it's right after the holidays and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I didn't get them to sign in January. I talked to them in October, November, and December. So that's what we're doing right now, right? Like, that's what we've been doing. We're probably hearing a lot of no's right now. You're probably hearing a lot of, I can't afford it, or now is not a good time because the holidays are coming up or Whatever it might be, there's a lot of excuses right now because let's be honest, most people are not thinking about health and fitness at the end of the year. They're thinking about how stressful their life is going to be. They're thinking about how they have to buy all these presents, how they have all these holiday parties and food and nutrition and focusing on that is the last thing that they're worried about because they know that they have all these parties coming up that's going to throw them off track. But what you're doing right now in, in building those relationships and helping those um, relationships to flourish, you're going to help to build your book come the first of the year. That's when things are going to just go like this and it becomes easier. So that's when you're getting fully booked for January. You, um, your success the consistency that you create now is going to lead to your success in the upcoming months. So when you hit success club five or success club 10, it's not because of that month. It's because of the work that you put in the month before. It's because you built those relationships. You reached out to those people. You, um, you, you built your trust with them. You invited them into a clean eating group or whatever to help give them that support. And then they were able to trust you. Um, and then the other thing he says to do is to do the opposite of what 92% of people do. So you've probably heard this before. Danny Johnson says it a ton. Darren Hardy says it. It's go against the grain. Don't do what everybody else is doing. The majority of the population is living at mediocre. If you want to do things that are greater than mediocre, which all of you do that are on this call and that are on this team, then you want to do the opposite of what they're doing. Don't watch all the TV shows that everybody else is watching. Dive into some personal development instead. You know, make sure that you're doing those things, those two to three things extra every week, every month consistently that are going to compound over time to give you that edge up, to get you into that red zone, to do those couple extra reps every month. That's what's going to set you apart. That's what's going to make you great. And that applies into all aspects of your life, not just in the business, you guys. Like if, if you want to really kill your results and feel better and really drop some weight or um, build some muscle, what are two to three things that you can do just a little bit better? I'm not talking anything crazy, but just a little bit better to put you over the edge instead of just hitting that 
middle of the road status quo. So I believe, okay, so mm -hmm. then I, I just was going to reflect again on the five distractions that you have in your life right now. And then two to three ways that you can do just a little bit more. And really think about those. And, and just like um, Dr. Cooper was having us put um, some actions to our goals, like what are some action steps that you can do to help avoid those distractions and to help lessen the effects of the distractions that you're going to have? It's going to be a busy time of year. It's going to be with the holidays coming up. It's going to be that time of year that it's easier to say, oh, I'll reach out tomorrow. Oh, we've got this going on. I'll reach out tomorrow. And before you know it, you've gone, you know, three to four, sometimes a week mm -hmm. without reaching out to anybody. And that's not going to help your business grow. That's not going to help you feel confident. That's going to help you feel discouraged. And then it's even harder to get back into it. So I'll tell you something that's been working really well for me before I open it up to see if you girls have any questions. Um, something that's working really well for me right now in inviting to challenge groups is, you know what, let me see if I can just pull it up and I'll just read it to you. And I will even be happy to put this in our group. Mm -mm. Let me... I'll make sure I mark this on red. Okay, so this is how I've been inviting because what's what's most people's excuses right now? The holidays are coming up, they're too busy, they're gonna be stressed out, they don't have the time, whatever. So this is what I'm saying. Um, hey girl, I have no idea if this would be for you or not, but I'm getting ready to kick off a 21 day nutrition and fitness group to help other busy mommies keep on better track during the holidays to help reduce stress levels and really be able to enjoy the holiday season rather than dreading it. Does this sound like something you would enjoy being a part of? And that's how I've been approaching it with everybody. Even when I made my video the other day, it was all about, because that's what a lot of my groups are gearing towards now is more of that positive affirmation. Um, because that's what I want to do. You know, that's what my group feel is going for is, helping people to lead a more positive life, to have that daily gratitude and starting to implement some of the stuff that I'm learning in the 28 day challenge into my actual challenge groups to provide more value for my customers. So it's not a lie when I'm saying like, we're going to work on focusing on the positive things in life, like being grateful that you have all those parties to go to, because what do most of us do every year? Like we're like, Oh, we have another party right? You're like, Oh, I have so many parties. I'm exhausted. I don't want to go to another party. And then I got to go shopping and then I got to make food and blah, blah, blah. But what if you shifted your mindset and you were grateful? Like we should be grateful that we have all those people to, that want to be with us and to spend our time with, you know? So just shifting our mindset to a more positive realm and being excited that, you know, we can reduce the stress, stress levels. Let's shift our mindset and enjoy the holidays. Let's enjoy, we can still enjoy a little bit of food, but let's keep it in moderation. Those sorts of things so that you're kind of already fighting that objection before it comes. So that's all I have for tonight. Um, Michelle said I will be on board soon. Oh, the success club, I'm assuming is what that means. Sorry. Okay, girls, so I'm, I hope I didn't skip around too much or ramble too much. It's a little different than what we normally do, but I wanted to share what Darren shared on that call that I was um, able to be a part of last week, and I think that it's really important, and it kind of goes along with what we've been doing with Dr. Coit Cooper as far as creating your legacy and, and building that person that you want to be more, I guess, is what it should be called, is just being, being that role model that you want to be for people. Um, do any of you have any questions? Hey, Corey, what's the um, cutoff date for our group, the Christmas group? Um, in the information in the group, I believe I originally, because it's going to start on December 14th, I originally made the cutoff the 4th, because that's what I normally do is the, the full Friday before. 
but I've had this last group that I had, I had some trouble with my girls getting things. It was actually taking more like 10 days instead of five to seven, like normal. And when I called and kind of got on coach relations because things weren't shipping, it was like taking like three or four days before I was getting a tracking number. They are in the process of moving the warehouse into a bigger facility. So some of the shipments are taking longer than usual. So I would say the second to be safe. Okay. It may be resolved by then, but they've had to move into a bigger facility because there's such a high demand for the 21 day fix. Okay. Okay. Yep. And I'll copy and paste that um, script that I was using into the group too, so that you girls can, if you, I mean, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, um, that's something that's kind of, nipping that in the butt before it's like, oh, well, the holidays are coming up. Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we should get it. I took a picture of it because I have, I think there's three or four that I invited that one is thinking about it. And I think I have two that have said yes. So I want to reach out to them and kind of form them a little bit. So that kind of works out good. Okay. Yeah. And I saw, I saw that you had a couple that were your friends when I was looking at who um, agreed to that. And that post I made today, that freaking went crazy. Did you guys see that? I borrowed it from April. Uh, Donna didn't see it. Donna will show you really quick. Um, I think I'm going to post it on my wall tonight. <laughs> and that's that girl's um, story. I asked April if I could use it. I thought it was her client, but it's not. So I'm really not sure whose client it is or where April got it from. But man, I don't ever, hardly ever get activity on a picture that I post in a group or in an event. But that girl's post blew up. This, Donna, this is the post. She started in December of 2014 and she's lost 88 pounds after seven rounds of the 21 day fix. So basically the post is just saying, uh, waiting till new year's. Uh, okay. <laughs> that sounds like a really great idea. And then it, it tells her story and how she started in December. So it's pretty cool. And she said in her post that to share, she wanted people to share it. Oh. And I, I shared it um, today and one of the girls that liked it, I sent her a message and she said, I was just looking at the 21 date fix today. My mother-in-law is going to buy it for me for Christmas. Oh, really? So guess who she's buying it from? Nice. Right? That's awesome. Yeah. Those are some pretty stellar results there. And it's just, it's perfect that it, she started in December, you know, that so many people, Oh, let's wait till January. Well, why not start now? And Liz messaged me. You remember, we just talked about Liz. Mm -hmm. And she said she's feeling crappy. She's sick. Work sucks. And she's been emotionally eating. And she needs me to be on her. And she's going to start back up on Shake Allergy um, oh, December 1st. So, yeah. Good. That's great. Is yeah, it is. Is she enrolled to be a discount member? So she I'm thinking she is. We haven't... Um, she has very limited cell service because she lives in Defiance and doesn't, or past Defiance, maybe Liberty Center. Mm -hmm. Anyway, she doesn't, her cell service doesn't work there. So I'm going to talk to her tomorrow and okay. see where she wants to go with that. Okay. I think she does want to be, do the discount. So she gets, you know, Shake Allergy at $99. So cool. Yeah. And I think that the girl that I talked to today is also going to do discount. Cool. So, yeah. All exciting kind of hyper. Yeah. I'm, I almost wasn't going to share it because I'm thinking, oh my God, if I share it, then it's not going to happen. But mm -hmm. it is. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. Be positive. Well, I'm very proud of you girls for taking the time tonight to be on the call and um, to keep pushing forward. Like, like I said, this is, if you can grind and make it through these next two months, you are going to see a whole new world come January because you were laying the footwork for an amazing first quarter. It's just a little bit mundane and <laughs> you kind of feel like, ah, oh. but just seriously, just keep reaching out. And if you feel like, 
okay, you're reaching out to three to five people a day, bump that number up to eight to 10, you know, take that extra 10 to 15, 20 minutes and just shoot, you know, three to five more messages and, and really connect with more people because one, you're not only going to up your chances of reaching your success club by this month or next month, but you're also helping to lay the footwork and you're filling that portfolio come first quarter. You know, that they say right now you should bust Heine to fill your book for January. But if you bust your Heine right now and you fill for January, February, March, and then during January, February, March, you're just planning and you're filling your book for the next three months. Like that's how this business works. The groundwork that you are doing now is going to set your set set your success up for the following month. So I encourage you, like if you feel like you're not hitting success club or you're struggling to get yeses out of people, look at your notes. Like look at how many people you reached out to last month. Were you consistent? How many people were you reaching out to? Do you need to up that from three to five to eight to 10? And go from there because the proof is in the pudding. Look at Carolyn Marone. That girl is freaking hitting like success club 25 to success club 30 every single month. And she's enrolling eight to 10 coaches every month. But do you know how many people she's inviting on a daily basis? 15 to 20. So it doesn't happen. Those numbers don't come from reaching out to three to five people. And if those aren't the numbers you're aiming for, that's fine. But I just want you to know that the more you reach out, the more your numbers are going to go up. The less you reach out, the less they're going to go down, right? So it's, you know, as much as I hate to say it, it, it is a numbers game. So the more that you're, you're pushing those um, building relationships and second, stepping outside of your comfort zone, which I know is, is difficult, um, but it's, it's fun once you do it. Like the first time I heard Ann Duvall, who's, if any of you know her, she's very, very timid and soft spoken and just, she's very reserved, I guess is a better word to say. She's not timid. She's more reserved. Um, she's a Nebraskan girl, you know, she's just, she's just a very easygoing kind of person. And, um, the first time I heard her say that it's fun to form people in public, I was like, this lady is nuts. Like who wants to go to the grocery store and form people? Hi, how you doing? Where are you from? What's your occupation? You know? But it is, it does become fun because you just kind of play and, you know, it might not go anywhere and it might, but why not get to know somebody? And if nothing else, you had a good conversation and you probably made each other smile. So why not? Have some fun with it. Try not to put too much pressure on yourself and to overthink it. Take action. Yeah. So I have to ask, do we have a one-star diamond in the morning? Oh, very close. No. 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 They push the goal back, though. They push. I did see that. Yes. And I did see that. I should wake up Monday morning a one-star diamond. All right. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's been a crazy uh, last six weeks, but um, it's fun. He has five active coaches on each leg, so I'm... I am uh, working on creating an emerald on the opposite leg, and he will be a diamond. Awesome. Yeah. Hard work. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Thank you very much. It's all in there for you girls, too. I know. Just takes that consistency. So. All right, lovely ladies. Well, if you guys don't have any more questions, I will let you get back to your evening and go rest and do whatever you got to do. Thank you. Good night. All right. Good night. Bye. Good night. <laughs>